The bosses aren't actually especially bad into this game. Good plan, I'm a master. Like, you realize that? The bosses aren't too bad into this game. They're fair. Like, they're fair. Yeah. Which is which is much different from all the bosses <laughs> we fought in other games. Heart Warriors 3 was nothing. It's because it's a fucking Musou game. Holy shit, welcome back to Xenoblade, guys. It's Twitchy and True here. Welcome back to Xenoblade. Um, so, Dunban's pretty cute, I gotta say. Like, Dunban is super fucking cute. <laughs> but I feel like you should have an eye patch. I think losing one arm is enough of a disability for him. I feel like he should, he should have an eye patch, though, because it would just be like one side no arm, other side no eye, and it's just kind of like, I'm cool, you know? I think that's torturing the guy too much. The funniest thing. I mean, you lose half your vision and you lose half your fucking utility. Is his his right arm is gone? No, it's there. His right arm is not able to be used. Yeah. Yeah. But um. This motherfucker can't masturbate. The reason. How do you know he's not left-handed? You know what? That's true. You, you gotta you gotta learn to adapt. Ambidextrous. Yep. But um, fun fact about. Zunban. What's your fun fact about Zunban? One of his best things that you can equip to him is an eye patch, like for his head. Wow. So that's why I think of that. Just make him feel even worse about exactly. himself. Exactly. Oh, so you're you're not bad enough as you are. So hey, how Dunban, just... you're already half here. Haha. <laughs> let's be, let's make you half in the eye department too. Oh, perfect. Shulk laughs. <laughs> I can imagine just Shulk laughing at him as he puts in the eye patch. Oh, so it's um, red demon juice in the air. No, it's Niagara Falls, dude. Are you kidding me? I... okay. <laughs> Kelsher Wetland. That is Holy what happens in my pants. Sounds like Kosher Wetland. I love mm. those pickles. Mm. Isn't it? Isn't it kosher? No, I call it Kosher. Because okay. Kosher sounds more delicious. Not real. <laughs> Satoru Marsh. It's on the ass. <laughs> it, it is! It's on the ass! Oh the... god, he has swamp ass! He has some swamp ass. He has literal swamp ass. <laughs> Oh my god. That's it. The Bionis has the wettest ass ever. Fucking trees growing in its ass. <laughs> oh god. I've never seen anywhere like this. You see? This is why I've been saying you need to get out of the lab every now and then. We're aiming to get inside the Bionis. We can get to the upper regions from there. Wow. I've never thought about going inside the Bionis. The closer we get to the top, the more monster trouble we're gonna run into. The only things I venture this far in are the Nopon merchants and curious types like me. You really know all the fun spots, eh, Dixon? <laughs> you wanna get to the top? Then this is the only way. We'll push on, no matter what. That's the spirit, Shulk. So yeah, I have a story. Tell, tell your story. So I was inside the hospital for my brain stuff, right? For my mental stuff. And it's the hospital. Oh, uh, no. oh fuck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. Enemies are a thing. Acid Upa. So yeah, I was, me. I was inside the thing for a bunch of different reasons, and it was great, right? But um, what I didn't realize is there was a guy with a little... What do you call those hats? Yamakas? I think so, yeah. So there's a guy, there's a old man, like relatively old, no beard, uh, very round, rotund in weirdness, and his hair was white, and he was just walking. He walks into the main room that we lived in. Where, like, I was playing PS2. Cool. He brings in donuts, and he's like, everyone wants some? Everyone obviously goes, yeah, because who doesn't like donuts? And one of the girls there looks him in the eye and goes, are these kosher? <laughs> kosher donuts? Now, I I started laughing Yeah. really hard, because I thought, oh yeah, this is hilarious, it's a great joke. But it turned out she wasn't trying to make a joke. She was trying to ask, actually ask. Like she, she was trying to ask him in a joking way because of his hat. But she said it in such a serious way that he just, he was like, N no, no. And he was just panicking, being like, I you don't have them. But she was like, I still want, 
And everyone, Sweating. everyone was just fucking panicking, and I was laughing my ass off for no reason because it wasn't even that funny. And it was just this awful, awkward time of just sadness. Yeah. One person trying to be serious, but also joking at the same time. No. And one guy laughing like a fucking insane maniac. <laughs> she, she was trying to, like... She was not good at, at conveying emotions. Oh. So she was, like, trying to make the joke, but she didn't change her tone for it. So it was just like, are these kosher? Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. 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 Ah, oh, that whole experience was fucking weird. It was oh. really weird. Oh, we're at the Lashes Swamp. We're at the Lackus Swamp. Everyone, look. It's a group of Nopon. Ah, some Nopon merchants. What do you think they're up to? They must be here for a reason. Let's go and ask them. Good idea. <laughs> Make a fucking ninja hand sign? Exactly. So yeah, um, when I was younger, 7th grade, yeah. uh, I knew a girl had a crush on me. Right? Yeah. I mean, that was a thing, and it was kind of weird. I got put in the same group as this girl for an assignment. It was a little bit of a... Uh, it was... Basically, we had to put salt inside a cup of water and stir it until it completely went in. And, like, distilled, right? Easy enough lab. It was the easiest thing possible. Okay. But, but she goes, Wait, something weird about this salt. Here, look. So I go and I, I like, look towards it. I didn't have... I wore glasses back then, by the way. I had no glasses to wear. And she goes... What the fuck? <laughs> and throws the salt into my face. And it goes all over my fucking eye. Okay. And I start fucking blood curdling screaming. And asking why the fuck she did that. And she's it's funny, lol. She was just kind of laughing the whole time. And I used the eye flush station for the first time and that that um that class has had that eye flush station used in at least ten years. <sighs> Nice work, you fucking idiot. Later on, in, later on in my life, actually, uh, this girl... So I had a friend named Cody, and we were across the street at the shops, that, like the strip mall that's across the street from us. That, cool. Like, right now. And we were just kind of chilling around, it was great, it was a great time, and yay. We were just at the Telestore, and the guy pats me on the shoulder, turns me around and is like, Is that... Oh, I, I can't use a real name, shit. Is that Erica? Nice. So I, I turn around, and sure enough, it was Erica, the girl who threw salt in my eye. So naturally, I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> she comes in, because Cody calls her <laughs> she in. She comes in holding a cup. Hey, oh, God. <laughs> I got something for you to look at. No, so... Uh, <sighs> walks into the store holding a cup. <laughs> so she walks in and starts talking to Cody, and I'm just kind of like, oh, this is bad. She turns to me. And starts like asking me questions. Hey, how was that cup? Haha. <laughs> I panic. Okay. Now I don't know if you know what I do when I panic, but I run. <laughs> so you just sprinted. So naturally, my first reaction was high knee running away from that place to the fourth floor. <laughs> high knee running. Yeah. Oh my god. So I high knee run out of the telestore. Beeline towards Pizza Pizza, go past Pizza Pizza, go up to the fourth floor of the fucking parking Holy garage shit. next to Pizza Pizza and start just gasping for breath and laying on the ground up there until they're gone. I've done it. I've escaped from the mech on. Later on, <laughs> Cody comes up there because he knew I was going to go there because he's, he's something or he he's was something. He's something. He was something. And he, he goes, so I got you a date with... Hey. That was also the name. Shit. I got nice! You, I got you a, a date with Erica. Nice! Got you a date with Erica. And I'm just like, what? And so... I know you like her, man. You don't just run from any girl don't, like that. You don't just high knee <laughs> run away from <laughs> someone just for salt in your high eye. High knee run. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, so, I was technically in my first relationship for less than 24 hours with someone who threw salt in my eye. 
and then I broke up with this person over text. What a lovely relationship. And it was probably one of the saddest moments in my entire life so far, honestly. Oh my god. <sighs> That's an adventure. Oh, it was a fucking... It was crazy. I was in like in grade 7 too, so it feels uncomfortable to think about. Oh god, grade 7 was 5 years ago. Yeah. Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Ah. Uh, okay. It feels like you just should sell everything aside from... I think you can also sell that, because you don't really need that. Yep. That's good. This? Cut, cut that to Ryan, yeah. It seems like a thing that Ryan would be able to use. I mean, I, I, mean, I already Let me have some checked my... oh. all stats for the thing. I apologize, then. If something sucks, then, I mean... Physical defense is way up, though. Look at how much it increases. Yeah, but there are going to be ether enemies in this area. Really? There are going to be ether enemies in this area. Okay, then... It's a marsh! You right, you right. Look at the magic energy. Yeah. Okay, we'll just say that for later then. Keep, keep hold on to it. Okay. I say, because it increases it by so much, it may as well be kept. Like twenty. Yeah. Yeah, and all this stuff is just useless. There we go. Oh. And now boy. we sell all these legs. Fuck yeah! All the quarks. I'm still so angry about just saying the word quark. Quark reminds me of uh, quark reminds me of a uh, quake. That real? I actually never played Quake. Quake's pretty good. The only thing I know about Quake is the field of vision is very big. And I learned that from Minecraft. Quakecraft? Quake Pro. Because you know how you turn the the thing all the way up? The the slider for your field of vision on Minecraft all the way up. And it turns into Quake Pro. That oh. is the only fucking reason. That's a major increase. But it won't be able to hit uh, mech on, so I don't know about that. Just use it for now, I guess, because there's not going to be any mech on since area for now, at least. So I'd buy that. Major decrease on everyone. Whoa, whoa, never mind. Wow, that's good. Guard's helm is good. Grandiose armor. Yeah, pretty trash on everyone. That's good, I guess. Cause it, yeah. it goes up. Uh. Man, I kind of hate this. Hate what? In RPGs. Going for equipment that Cycling are... Cycling through shit and stats. It becomes a chore. Yeah. I don't like it. That's why in Tales of Zestiria, it just kind of goes... There's an arrow upwards if it goes up. That's good. Yeah. <sighs> I think it's also based on the area, and it's Tales of Zestiria as well. Like, if you're, on a if you're on a single area that uses blank damage, it'll tell you this one's better. But if you're in an area with the blank damage, it'll tell you this one's better. And so on, and so on, and water, and fire, and earth, and wind, and... That's some chill defense, man. <laughs> nice. Cool. Now equipment, or equip time. Equip time. My favorite time of the day. So we're in up the Dunban way. Huh. Whoa. That looks fucking weird. Yeah, I think that's the... Oh, that's just the same thing that it looked like on him before. Who'd you buy that for? <laughs> that real. Surf's up, Ryan. Oh, his shoe is just... That is beach attire. That's so painful. <sighs> Better just run 1,200 things in that direction. Yeah. You're also being attacked. I know. I have to itch my eyeball. I understand. What's attacking you? It's... Coppice Quad Wing. That's really scary. 
It's like a mutant owl. Also, its bottom wings are not being flown or flapped. Because those are, those are the just-in-case wings. Oh, of course. Forgot about that. The just-in-case wings. Yep. Oh shit, it's time for Blossom Dance. Is it? It is time. One. Two. Look at those Sakura Blossoms. Three. Blossom Dance. Blossom Dance. There you go. It's over. That gave you so little cash. But we mustn't be careless. I mean, not cash, um... EXP. Doe. Jizzity Jam Juice. That's what it's called. Jizzity Jam Juice. That's a scientific name for it. Jizzity Juice is something completely different, though. Jizzity Jam Juice. Go away. I feel like oh, they're not going to. I want some ether. I get the feeling that they are going to chase you all the way up to the area that you're trying to go to. Nah. Just an assumption. Ow. Jesus. I'm slow. And then he just starts walking afterwards. Yeah. He's literally in a state of walking. Go Dunbam! Jumping does not work apparently. <laughs> just casual stroll. Okay, so getting hit with a slow again just reverses it. Okay, I see. That is weird. I see you, Xenoblade. You Xenoblade is the smartest game. You motherfucker. Wow. I just went full circle, and now I don't give a shit. Nice. Well, it's a good thing you don't give a shit, because we're going to the next episode. Nice. Hey! Bye! <laughs>